All right, we got something here pretty cool. It's uh, looks like it might have been a race car at one time. It's a, it's actually a Model T, but uh, belongs to my buddy Jonathan over here. A lot of you guys know him from uh, hitting, hitting misfits, right? Yep. Uh, give me the lowdown on this because it's pretty interesting. It is a 1926 Speedster, is uh, what it's categorized as. It was never a factory car, just something somebody put together, different pieces. Uh, all the unnecessary things, fenders, stuff like that, taken off for weight reduction. It's more so that it looks fast than it is. It's not, it's, it's not very fast. Uh, but I uh, had this thing shipped all the way over from California, so it's, you know. It had a long journey. It didn't drive over, but of course, but pretty cool. Got a little windshield here. We just had a, a deluge of rain here, so yeah. that's he. Want, he's going to take me for a ride because uh, it's not much foot traffic right now, and uh, we'll have a chance to do it. We'll have to dodge the puck. We're going to have to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have no fenders on it because no. it is a roadster, and uh, we're going to have to try and find a, a road that doesn't have very much water on it. So. Uh, all right, let, let us know what the rest of the stuff is, John. You got racing seats? Yeah, cool. What the hell's all that noise, John? Uh, there's falling wood over there with the KC back. Oh, my God. They were doing that in the downpour, too. Really? Oh, yeah. All right, so you got, we got racing seats and a, a fuel tank, a pinstripe yep. fuel tank, and custom-made oak box, looks like. Is that oak? Uh, the probably. outside is, yeah. No, knowing my friend, it's probably oak. What would they call it, a trunk? I don't know. Call it whatever you want. It's custom. That's a trunk, buddy. It, uh, it did have a spare on it, but I got to reinforce that before I put the spare back on. All right. Very cool. You think it'll start? I know it just got rained on. Yeah. We'll figure but it, it out. But it is a Model a T. Yeah, it, it is all Model T. The engine, drivetrain, it's all Model T. So it's not like you can go fast with it. It just looks fast. Yeah, but they're, they're made to go through anything, so a little rain ain't going to hurt it. Well, we'll figure that out in a second. <laughs> oh, you're gonna crank it. He's gonna crank it. You gotta prime it first. Uh, I was trying without it. Oh, here you go. Man, the spark and uh, she's going. Now it was converted to 12 volt with a distributor, uh, which is actually kind of rare to find a distributor that'll fit one of these things because it needs right. to be the whole casting that fits where the timer used to be. It's actually really neat. All right, well, Model T Roadster. What do they call this thing on the front? Speedster. What do they call this? Uh, moto meter. Moto meter. Moto meter. I got the. I made the leather straps for it and everything. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. I hope it don't rain. I hope my fuel line doesn't get clogged again. You know these seats are actually comfortable, aren't they? You yeah. Stretch your legs out. Oh, look at it. Whoa. <laughs> We're gonna back up here. All right. What do you got, open headers? Uh, yeah, I took the muffler off. It's gotta be loud, you know? Yeah. All right. Trying to go to too many cuddles because I don't have anything to clean the lens with. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to want to ruin your camera there. That yeah. makes you money. Uh, Why are you running like that? Sorry about no, that. No, that's all right. I got to adjust my carburetor. My clock got wet. My wind-up clock got wet. Everything got wet. Yeah, it's not too bad. No, this is another one. This is another one, yeah. What's that? Yeah, we're about to. <laughs> it's legal. I'm not sure why it idles like that, but I kind of like the sound of it. Probably got a radical cam. Well, honestly, I think the uh, distributor shaft is uh, war it's radical. It's radical, yeah. yeah. That's a lot of fun to do. <laughs> this will be uh, a bit interesting here because I'm not sure where the uh, speed is. That water won't fly up at you. So we'll, uh, we'll figure I'll, it out. I'll be the first to let you know. <laughs> now, if 
you weren't here, I'd be driving as fast as I could through these funnels. <laughs> That's what it's meant for. You know, the suspension on this is actually nice. I don't feel any of these bumps. Well, the, this one's a little bit worse, actually, than my other Model T. That one, that one of course, is factory and it's a lot heavier, so mm -hmm. it kind of helps absorb the, uh, a lot more of the bumps. This one gets real bouncy. probably about 400 rpm I thought that guy was gonna get us wet with that tunnel there I love this guy go well we're gonna be sitting in traffic real quick It's a bad time to take it for a ride, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut you guys off until uh, we get out of this traffic jam and then uh, turn you back on when we hit the highway. All right, let's hit the big road, Johnny. Ready? Go. Oh, this is traffic. Oh, oh track. There's a whole shitload of them. Yeah. Oh well. Maybe we'll turn around. You want to turn around? Yeah, hey, alright, yeah. I was going to say, whatever direction they go in, we'll go in the all other. Alright, we're safe to go, so. No traffic anywhere. I really got to go through, slow through these uh, puddles. Oh, that might still get you wet, bro. I'm okay. Thing. You know, well, 50 mile an hour yeah. feels like 100. Well, because it's all stock yet, um, I don't want to overspeed the engine. Hold on. 
on, Road King. All right. Look at, wait, look where we're turning around in, in, no, in a cornfield. No, 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 no trespassing sign. And the shifter was put on the outside of the car. So it's like the old tiny, oh, yeah. old tiny race cars, you know? Otherwise it would be right here. There it is. I'll go down and grab it. We gotta, gotta get my hat. Bad spot. Oh. The bad spot. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. Yeah, no problem. I got John was just telling me that the shifter's on the outside. Yeah, check this out. I didn't realize that. Huh. Very cool. But this doesn't have front brakes. No. All it has is rear brakes. Yeah, like I said, it's still Model T, so you got to be careful. Yeah. Wow, that was wild, John. Yeah. yeah red drives all right. It does, man. I felt safe. We as, as much rock and rolling as it was uh, going. No, yeah. It's, it doesn't feel unsafe. These, these things have a lot of body roll, no matter what you do. My brake back there makes a little bit of noise. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to drive. <laughs> that mud shooting off the tire going right over my head. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. As long as it goes over my head, not my face. Yeah, well, we'll go slower then. We'll keep it in low gear. Uh. Well, that was fun. Yeah, thank you. Well, it's always fun. They can't see it, but I got a smile ear to ear. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I'm, I'm not done with it. It needs a little bit of work yet. If, uh, if it checks out mechanically, uh, I might put a three-speed uh, Warford auxiliary transmission in to put, uh, bring the engine RPMs down a little bit. So I could uh, 
cruise without worrying about hurting the motor. Right. I mean, these motors are only good for 16, 1800 RPM. Any more than that, you're going to break something. I'm not in the business of breaking it up. Old B Model Max, see that? Towing a trailer. Oh. Gotta go around the Gotta go around a tree. Oh, look at this. Oh, we're mud bogging. We're gonna take a, a detour through the mud here, the swamps. You want me to drop you off back at Mike's? Uh, yeah, you might. He might want him to take him for a ride before you go. Yeah, we'll see. Pull right in here. Yeah, I'll just cut through this rope here. Hey, hey there he is. Mike screen his stuff. I think he's just pulling it over to the other side of the road. So maybe uh, talk to him, take him for a ride. He'll yeah, love that. I'll see if uh, he uh, wants to go. Alright, sorry guys. I, I know the, there was probably a little bit of wind, but I didn't expect it to do 60 mile an hour. <laughs> And I don't have a, a little uh, dead cat on the front of this, but uh, that was wild. That was fun. People, people that have never been in an older car don't know how much fun it really yeah, is. Yeah, well, you're so much more connected to the road right, than right. you are in a modern vehicle. You do. You got the wind in your face, yeah. the ground up your ass, everything. <laughs> you feel everything you feel. No, it's, it's great. It's tiring, I will tell you that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now you got to be on the ball. Yeah, no, you got you to pay attention. But uh, are there uh, mechanical brakes too? Yeah, well, this is your parking brake. That's right. your parking brake. All right. Um, your normal brakes are inside the transmission. It's a wet brake. Oh, okay. Wild, man, wild. Yeah. Yeah, got it. John's a, a collector, a Model T collector. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, hey, you got more than two of them. Yeah. <laughs> You're a collector, buddy. Doing something. Yeah. All right, we're going to go talk to Mike and let him know that John is going to give rides. Mike, wanted, Mike knows how to drive these, so he might want to drive it. I told him once. Did you? I did, yeah. All right. Well, thanks, John. I appreciate that. This, yeah. is, this is really nice. Uh, good luck with it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right. What do you guys say? Enough of this? Enough of this. All right. See you guys.